Well, we know first responders face critical moments when they arrive on scene at a medical emergency. The EMT I spoke with today said it's what's happening when they arrive at the hospitals that's preventing them from helping more people. We've been seeing a very, very big increase in calls compared to uh, what we were seeing in October and November. Samuel Gaietti has been an EMT serving the Coachella Valley for two years. He says many of the calls they've recently gotten are minor, which are contributing to a clogged system. People are calling for, um, you know, headache. We're getting people that are calling for just wanting a COVID test. It's uh, definitely been taking up the system. We've been seeing a lot more bed delay recently. He says EMT crews find long delays at the hospitals. Crews just the other day, well yesterday, um, sitting on bed delay for five plus hours. If you don't know what bed delay is, it essentially is when the ambulance crew brings in a patient to the hospital and we are sitting with the patient on our journey, um, essentially waiting for a bed. Those kinds of delays are happening across Southern California. In Los Angeles County, EMTs are being told not to take patients who have little chance of surviving to hospitals there. Gaietti says here in Riverside County, that's not what they are being told to do. I do recommend that if you feel it is absolutely necessary to call 911, do not hesitate, call immediately. And we will gladly be there to help. But the waits at the hospitals are tying up the EMTs. Sometimes we have no ambulances available in anywhere. And says crews are being sent all over the county to help with the increase in calls. Riverside units coming to Palm Springs, Hemet units coming to Palm Springs. We have Palm Springs units covering Riverside and Hemet and down to Temecula, uh, Corona. Everyone's going everywhere. You are experiencing minor symptoms. Gaietti rec recommends having a family member or friend take you to urgent care or the hospital. And as far as the coronavirus vaccine, he says he hasn't gotten it yet, but he does know some EMTs that have already started getting vaccinated. Reporting live from home, I'm Caitlin Thrope, News Channel 3.